controversy over a flag flying on the KU campus caused the university to take it down. KSNT News Capitol Bureau Chief Courtney Ryan explains what started that debate. As you can see, the university has removed the flag following backlash online from state leaders as well as students here on campus. It's a flag some would call art, but others wouldn't. This is not art. This is a disgrace. This flag flying outside Spooner Hall was part of KU's Pledge of Allegiance project, a series of flags the university had been displaying for months. Actually, I just realized it when they pointed it out to me. Um, I hadn't even noticed that uh, the the sock and the art style up there. The flag included two black shapes designed to look like the United States. The artist said it represented a deeply polarized country. It also had a black and white sock to represent the immigration controversy. Flying a a uh, defaced flag on this campus is just the exact opposite of what it means to be a Jayhawk. After a picture of the flag was posted to social media, state and local leaders took to Twitter. Governor Jeff Collier demanding the flag to be removed. Uh, I don't like it, um, and all I ask is that they thank a soldier. Steve Watkins, who is a veteran running for the second congressional district, called it disrespectful. I've buried soldiers, friends of mine, and they've been draped in the flags, these very flags, uh, for the rights that they've got to to deface the flag, burn the flag, stomp on it. They've got those rights. Late in the day, it took a university employee less than 10 minutes to remove it. The university has still not commented on the flag or the flag's removal. Reporting from Lawrence, I'm Courtney Ryan.